Yo, what is up guys? JD0 with Chaotic and right now we're doing a pre-recording live stream uh, and it's not a live stream but it's a pre-recorded podcast instead of doing an actual live stream because the main topic here is today is the whole situation with Markiplier and his live stream and the whole situation with that is people were sh uh, spamming the live stream with emojis and everybody's account who was spamming emojis on the live stream got banned not only just banned they got their whole channel removed not just the whole channel some of them even got their entire Google emails. their whole Google account was just completely gone gone and now the whole situation is Markiplier is trying to get in contact with YouTube and try to fix the situation. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Let me just unmute him. Okay, here we go. Hello. Dudes, I have a question to ask you. Yes. So, I just went to go pick up part of Cameron's, like, Christmas gift. Are you- you're not recording it, are you? I'm recording. Okay. Then I'll, um, but I have a question for you guys. So I'll, I'll keep it, uh, simple, short, and sweet. Um, so how would you guys feel if you had to complete an entire Pokemon game only to sell it right before you got to the Elite Four? It would be very dissatisfying, honestly. Yeah. Because the I mean, wait, you got wait, wait, wait. D is there any shinies in that game? I don't know because I just purchased like a pre-owned version of a Pokemon game that he's missing, uh -huh. and just you know, out of like shits and giggles, I'm gonna give it to him tomorrow. And um, I looked at the game file that's on there. Yeah. And she got through it's one on. member of the Elite Four and three members are left. <coughs> oh. Yeah. But wait, I thought it doesn't save those type of memory from the game. It does, apparently. Wait, this What's is a let's about? go. This is a let's go, right? No, this is like a DS game. Oh, oh then... Okay, okay that so... Makes sense. That makes sense. There's no shinies well, in this freaking Pokemon game, pretty much. Not that Probably I know not. of. Not Probably that you know not. of. Not Probably that I know not. of. Uh... If, if they just, they're in the Elite Four. Oh, well, you never know. People might want to shiny hunt before they even get into the Elite Four. What does um, the team look like? If the team has a shiny on it, then probably. I haven't looked. I mean, the and thing is, the game is the the game is already like almost about to be finished, and you Honestly, rather have this person you? start from the beginning. When you think no, about I'm that. gonna have him like look at the legacy file and be like, "Do you want to keep these?" Because. I, I'm gonna convince him to keep the legacy file. Uh huh. And then, um, for a minute, and then transfer whatever's in the legacy file to his Pokemon bank. And. Okay, that yeah, because that would be kind of crappy, right? Yeah, because there probably is some and, good Pokemon in there. Oh, I looked. Oh, I but looked. But no shinies. There's a Galvantula and a Haxorus that's like super OP. Um, but there's just one issue. What? Um, the, okay, which DS game is it? It's Pokemon Black. Yeah, there's only one issue. The uh, most he could transfer it up to would be Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. He can't even use it in Sun and Moon because they went back to the original, uh, First two gens for stats. 
Well, he did for stats, but I've been able to use all my Pokemon from Black in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. That's what I'm saying. You yeah. can only do it up to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. You can't go to Sun and Moon. No, 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 no. Pokemon Bank allows you to transfer Pokemon onto Sun and Moon. There's no, I like, there, no, they, yeah. They, they said, um, Nintendo said themselves do that. No. No, there was a... No. No. There, that's that's I, that's something completely different. So basically different. what happens is... And I think I know where he's coming from, and this can go into our first topic, which mm -hmm. is the Pokemon leaks. Basically what happens is, is that when we go to Pokemon Bank... So when... All, you can store anything in Pokemon Bank and just transfer it whatever generation you need to. So yeah. if he say he, but here's the deal. It say he tra transferred it all the way to from the bank all the way to Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. He then would not be able to use the Pokemon that are in this legacy file in X and Y. Oh, Do you understand? So once, you go, once you go one way, you can't go back. back yeah. yeah, so he's able okay. to use them in both Omega Ruby and X and Y, but if he were to transfer them to... If he were to Sun transfer them to Sun and Moon, then he can no longer use the Pokemon or transfer the Pokemon into X and Y. Okay, I'm... Okay, it's been a while since yeah. this right. whole situation Because there's up. no backwards I'm compatibility. Because the only reason I know yeah. this is because I'm playing through X right now, um, because I've already finished Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Mm hmm And, yes, John, I did it. I finally did it. I did it, like, last Friday. Really? With a couple, with a couple of buddies, like... Really? And they used my Pokemon. I, I, I swear, I mean, all you needed to do was possibly level up your Pokemon to maybe about get 70 or 80. I'm just oh, saying. Oh, please. At by least the time we 80. had it done, by the time we had it done, I did it. Was dead. I think yeah. everybody like could do it. Two Pokemon. You're just being a little bit lazy about it. I'm uh, just saying. We're talking about me here. <laughs> and I'm just saying you're pretty little bit lazy about it. So, okay, but, um, <laughs> John, we're talking about me here. When I was a YouTuber, how long did it take me to make the crappiest of Let's Play videos? It took you a while. It took you a long time. Um, I mean, it did. Is it, so this is, is why I'm not a YouTuber anymore. Is it bad that uh, I'm playing through Ultra Sun again? No, I play through. That's all what the time. I was live streaming like a couple of weeks ago. I I actually found like even though there's a lot of dialogue. Oh my <sighs> god, the the amount of dialogue. Dude, I would it's never just, start from the beginning. I it's would never mind. start from the beginning. It's uh, it's mind numbing. I would be doing Wi-Fi battles than rather uh, do that from the beginning. Right. I, uh, so I that's still... why I'm glad that like we're going on to Galar and there's like barely no any dialogue. dialogue. Barely. Barely any dialogue. Um, that we know. Speaking of. Of Galar. Speaking of Galar, as much as hate and controversy there is around it. I'm actually glad they cut over half the deck. Well, I think the... Because <sighs> I'm, so again. I'm, I'm sorry, we needed something as a soft reboot, almost. Right. Just it, it is. Experience something new. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna have my favorites, and some mm -hmm. of my favorites didn't make the cut. Right, mine didn't either. It's just... I mean... But, you but guys, I mean, yeah, I mean, so oh far, God, <laughs> I'm sorry, oh it's God, true, God. I have Togekiss, I'm not, I'm, I'm I honestly upset for you guys, I mean, yes, my, everybody's favorite you don't Blastoise have Blastoise. did not, but I still have Togekiss, and I have I'm tails. not really I forget. bitching I forget. about it. I I'm have nine me. tails, nine tails and Raichu. Um, is uh, we're not the, bitching about is, it. Is is the Rolls line in it? I yeah. forgot. Uh, yes, I think. Then I'm, yes. then I'm good. Then I'm good. Yeah. 
JD knows, Garnivore is like my favorite. It was my favorite to use in a semi-competitive way. I swept mm -hmm. shiny with that Pokemon. I'm good. Oh. Well, you know the thing about Maybe, it is, is that here's here's another John thing. Also. I have the Pokédex here. Oh, but my, so uh, far, we've talked about this even too. That even that Pokédex oh is not phone. even confirmed by Game Game Freak. I know that's the weirdest thing about it too. It's it's not like confirmed. they just took down every league, threatened people with legal legal trouble. I'm about to and... send the pick right here too. Right, don't you dare! I'm about to send the pick right here. I will send the dragon. It's gonna be in the chat. It's gonna be in the chat. Don't worry. Chill, chill. No one God, else is John, gonna if see we get this. Sued. If no one's gonna see this, I know they've been like supposedly been in Discord, but no, they're not gonna see this. Oh please. <laughs> oh please. And other than that, they don't know what our Discord. I mean, they kind of do, but they. They kind of do. To, they kind of don't. They they won't be yeah. able to get into it. So it's whatever. Right. Uh, yeah. How do you know that? I needed an invite. Yeah, right? Yeah, so that's the whole thing. It's this, it's an invite. Um, okay. hold on. <clears throat> so, anyway. So, are we able to talk about the leaks? Since we're like six days yeah, out? Yeah, that's, that's what I was trying to do here. Is get right. to the point of talking about the whole entire leak thing. Okay, um, well, I'm gonna mute it, you guys for a second, cause something's okay. gotta happen. Okay, um, but I'm gonna mute. <sighs> I just want to say that from what I've, uh, I've seen them, and that third legendary is insane. I know, right? That's all I'm gonna say. It's That's weird, but say. it's insane. And when I saw it, I was getting major like rayquaza vibes from it from yeah. when we first got it like when we first saw that rayquaza was like that third legendary mm -hmm. i don't know why but i just got major gen 3 bunch of vibes yeah i mean it's gonna be a little bit blurry you might want to like look it look at it on your phone to see it but there's the that's the whole entire pokedex like literally like right there showing yeah. all these pokemon but it's still kind of be a little bit blurry since it is the the format that it's in well i can see it pretty well actually yeah i mean it looks pretty normal when it's like not zoomed in but yeah. when you like zoom in it's gonna be all blur um but yeah that's it's the it's whole entire poke that that's <sighs> 400 plus pokemon yeah, there Mimikyu's in it. I'm happy about that too. Uh, and the whole thing, Mew was supposed to be in this, so it's just like... And then you also have, uh... What's the other Pokemon? Miltan? Miltan and Mel Mel is also supposed to be in here as well. So, yeah. the fact that they didn't hit that directly in the Pokedex number, we don't know what else is technically in this Pokedex. There's probably a little yeah. bit more Pokemon added, and they haven't added them in there yet. Because yeah, because there's there's also a potential evolution for that uh, Stone Edge Mon. Yeah. Okay, because so there's some lame ass choices in here. Let's be real. I think which which there Pokemon did is. I text you the other day that that I said was in this game? It was uh, I forgot I forgot what you said was in this Let me game. Check. Let me let me check the chat here, and let me check because this is where I sent you. I think my it was very... Corsola? No, was it Corsola? Corsola, I'm fine with. The Galar Corsola looks beef. I know, right? It does. It, it does. does. It really does. Okay, the Galar forms they're top notch on. I I like their designs. Yeah. Um. The fossil Pokemon is kind of like still kind of weirded out about though, because yeah. I I don't understand the reason of mix mix matching like these fossil Pokemon, but it's I uh, guess typing. yeah, and then the fact that there is different typings for it too. Which chat did I send it to you in? I don't know, sir. I really don't know. Was it Facebook? Remember. It must be from Facebook. Okay, I'm sorry. We couldn't. We didn't need the 
uh, ninja esque in the Shin Ninja. Yeah, I feel like those are kind of like one of those things where it's those are like it's like okay, you remove uh, Blaziken, so that's fine, I guess, but you still got that Whoa. speed boost Whoa, fucking score. Pokemon. Score or Bunny, uh, I could see as the replacement for Blaziken. It is the replacement for Blaziken, but since this is yeah, a pure we, fire type, I, it's, I don't, I'm not really that too worried about it. Okay, okay. I understand with Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, having to land it in Slazzle, but there, that evolve mechanic is too tedious. Eh. Oh, was it Rapid Dash? No. No, it's not. Mm. Galar Rapidash looks like a freaking My Little Pony. <laughs> yeah, it, it is, is My Little Pony. It is. But then it's like, that was the whole thing that they were going with, though. It's, it's the I it. thought I sent it to you. I sent uh, you that gif of the damn Dragonite, Dragonite destroying everything. Yeah, Dragonite, yeah. But I don't think you sent me anything other than that. Was the no, Dragonite. I sent you the Dragonite gif, and then we started talking about it, and you're just like, yeah, I saw it. Wait. Okay, so they have one, oh. two, three, four, five. Oh, they put Delibird in the game. Oh yeah, Delibird. Yeah, they gonna they put Delibird. Use the Santa Pokemon. But see, here's uh, the thing on, about Delibird. Delibird has don't, a new don't drizzle. Don't argue with me. It's a you good competitive Pokemon. How dare you? Oh, oh my God, hold, no. Hold up, hold up. There are. About seven plus pseudo yeah. in this game. Yeah. But no Dragonite! But you have all the replacements for Dragonite. You have Hydreigon uh, for plus type, the type, replaced oh Dragonite. You but have it's not Dragonite! You got uh, Gumi. Gumi, Tyranitar. Coco, uh, uh Ty Ty Tyranitar I'll take, but Gumi, eh. Kamaromoro, uh, whatever yeah. you call it. And then and you have like this can. new dragon Pokemon that's also now a pseudo legend. So it's like... What? <laughs> it's just like, come on. Okay, I understand each generation should have a pseudo. But this yeah, has I'm like fine a good amount of pseudos, so... Yes, why? Okay, and we okay, have I'm one calling, starter. I'm calling it now. One starter from I'm, Generation 1. I'm calling it now. Competitive <laughs> is going to be made up of at least two of the pseudos. And then the other odds and ends that were good competitively from last gen. Mm. Because... It, it, even though it's fresh, new, and they cut out a lot of mods, I I believe that. Oh, I forgot about Haxorus. Damn. <laughs> yeah. That's another pseudo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Competitively, though, it's gonna boil down to almost the same six mods. Mm. True. Because they they included. I mean, at this point, like, pseudos. we have Haxorus, we have Tyranitar. Oh. Ooh, ooh, one thing I didn't notice. Holy no Arcanine. Jaw. Arcanine. No Arcanine. No Growlithe, yeah. no Arcanine. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the replacement for the dog starting dog. So. Legendary Doggo! Uh, and the legendary there is a dog. An Arcanine. We have like two dogs no, anyway. We have two legendary two dogs. Doggo. We have two regular dogs too anyway. We have the Lucario line. <laughs> The new doggo line, and I think that's pretty much it. No, we also the Emperor is not, not doggo. The Emperor is not, not a pseudo doggo. It's not a pseudo doggo, but it's still a doggo. But that's like the Mighty Anna Houndoom looking thing line. Uh, yeah. That's the same thing don't. for Growlithe, but you know you don't consider Growlithe a pseudo, do you? I do consider Growlithe a pseudo. What the hell? Okay, if you look at the original Pokemon anime, um, it's legendary for speed. I get it, but still, yeah, legendary for speed. I wouldn't still consider that 
mid pseudo. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So oh I man, heard... they have caught me. Oh god. That's gonna be a trip. Mm. Uh, there's like a lot. I think like for me like. I was hoping for a fly gun it. to be a, like a new evolution. That's that was such a waste. Oh, or, they should have given the new evolution. Form. Or, or at least like like Flygon got no love when Omega Ruby Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire came out and now it's not getting even a Gigantamax. Well, I mean you still got the whole it's gonna you know Dynamax regardless, but it just it sucks. Right, it's not gonna Gigantamax. To yeah. Uh. Uh. I don't know. I mean, next week I just plan on being comatose with this game because it's like, I already told Cameron that, yes, you may not hear from me. Or I may be like super silent when I'm playing it. Yeah. And I have like nothing but days to play this and... Ugh. If I and, only had the money to get it. And the, that was the whole reason why I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy one game. I don't even think I'm gonna have the money to buy two games. I just got um, buy one. Um, I'm buying both whether I have the money or not. I don't have the money to even buy one. And it's sad. Oh. And then I have to save money for a freaking Elgato anyway, so. And I might yeah. be oh, buying so it. I, and I might I, be I, buying I it next week anyway. I better not spoil anything, man. Uh, you can spoil anything about the Pokemon, the Gigantamax, anything like that. I just don't do story spoilers. Okay. No story. No. No sto story. Story spoilers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on. But yeah. if you're like, oh man, look at this awesome move, I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> and we got my boy Halucha here. That's that's wild. I'm gonna definitely use Halucha. Oh, they have Vagi Slash. I might use him. Mhm. Mm when I get it. Hopefully, so... Belly Drum, freaking Lightning is still a thing. They have the one Pikachu clone that matters. Huh. True. What? <laughs> What, what, which one is that? Uh, to my, uh, the one from Sun and Moon. Oh. Mimikyu? No. Or Togemaru? No, oh, it's Togemaru. both. It's both of them. They have Por both of them here. Porcano Los Dos? Why? Well, I don't, why I don't why consider... Togedemaru, though? I don't... I don't I, know. I just, they just I have like both it, of them, though. It's, I like I like Togemaru's, uh design. It reminds me very much of a... And, uh, so far, like, the Hitmon Lee and Hitmon Chan, the Hitmon Top evolutions are also part of the game, so that's cool to deal with, because that, yeah. I, I like Hitmon Lee, and Hitmon Lee is always part of my team, so definitely gonna be using that. I think they the only like ones from my original team that didn't make the cut were Pidgeot and Blastoise. That that must suck for you. You could you could uh, uh. It sucks for you too. I mean, uh, I barely you. use those Pokemon, but it still for... sucks for you. And yeah, Blastoise is your mascot. Okay. Yes, it's my for... mascot, but I don't use it constantly in my team, though. Oh, I for... use it all the time. I for use Pidgeot. it all the time. I got like ten of them fuckers. For Pidgeot, you could use Corviknight. Eh. Oh, yeah, Corviknight is a good pawn. We'll see it. <laughs> How do we know that? Oh, you know what? I just forgot another pseudo legend. Oh my gosh. How did I miss that? Hmm. Noivat. Oh yeah. Noivat. Dude. So. There's another but dragon. The thing legend. is, it's like we're only getting like what, eighty six new Pokemon? Eighty it's like one less than last generation. Yeah. And but but for me, it's like with this particular like little Pokedex thing, 86 Pokemon, and then they hyped it up to be like, yeah, the, the it's the still 400 though. It's still 400. Difficult though. to, they, but they hyped it up said the the Pokedex will be difficult to complete. 86, 
And let's face it, 400 is an afternoon for me. Well, it's, I mean, uh, Liz is saying it's like it's, it's as big as. Unless, unless, in order to evolve some of the new Galar Pokemon, there's some heavy stipulations, kind of like Salazzle. Uh, right, okay. Where the, because, the population of Salazzle bottlenecks, so that way the only the only thing that evolved was is female. Is female. Okay, yeah. No, I get it. It, it. it could be something like that. I just dropped some anthropological knowledge or, on you guys. <laughs> and then we have to still consider and consider uh, consider that sun alone Pokemon that are in this new Galar region is uh gonna be either you could get the regular versions of that set pokemon transferred nope. over and technically it will still be considered more than 400 plus pokemon when right you think about it you have a little in nine tails and a little in vulpix yeah so oh if you have a, a minute, regular or something Ar arcanine is in this game yep i was yeah. telling you no oh, i wasn't listening but oh, they have found sweet Oh, why? Okay. I don't even know. I can understand that. Bound Sweet, really? I just noticed it. Um, I mean, I'm not mad because it's like I have all of these Pokemon. Oh, my Chichino. I forgot about that. Pumpkin is a bitch to evolve. Or, uh,. Maybe oh. with the one that looks like a cake. How creamy? Maybe with, oh, we yeah. got a couple of other 7 gen uh, Pokemon as well here. Uh, we have Torchinator and the... Uh, what's it got? Drompa? Oh, it's got Bear Tick. <laughs> so, I mean, it seems like we got like... Snorlax is another pseudo in the Kanto region. Is it in here? Yeah. Okay. I oh, I just found it. I mean, I'm not mad. The only like thing I'm pretty mad at is obviously he put that little fire lizard mm. How? in the game. How? How are you mad? <laughs> what are you breaking up, I mean, dude? Um. Oh, they have Vicavolt. Yep. I liked Vicavolt. It was interesting. Oh, Chandelure. Mm-hmm. I... Um... I'm probably gonna be catching I... one of those, because... Braviary... Oh. Exilgor! I, I can't wait to get Exilgor. It's been a while since I used oh. the Exilgor. Oh. So what happens if they, like went back and just decided hey we're trying to make everyone happy remember how it's like there was a limited Pokedex see that's a problem with that Ultra because Sun and Moon? no matter how they do it and again this is the fan base that we have today is oh no matter gosh. what we like say to them they're not gonna do it it's this it's the same it's like like I keep explaining to you guys about like how there's been situation with like movie companies and whatnot or mm -hmm. hey you know huge companies like Disney they'll hear the feedback but are they gonna do that most well, likely most likely not but it's like all around like what like if it's just nothing but Pokedex bad it's... feedback it's nothing but bad feedback um I, this might be a little bit of a weird opinion but I don't care Mr. Mime, even Galar form, still creeps me out. I know, right? <laughs> and, then they, and then the whole thing about the, uh, you know, the whole thing about the, the revolution, the evolution of it too. It's like Rhyme, you know, Mr. Like Mr. Rhyme, like from Rhyme City. Yeah. It's yeah. It has a face on its stomach. It does it's have a face weird. on its stomach. It's weird. And it has like it's a Pokeball weird. stomach too on the. So weird. Um, oh. I do have to say one thing that they could have lived without putting in was the, uh, freaking, uh, pod Pokemon that Guzma used. Uh, 
Galissapod? Yeah, that line. Uh, I, mean, I was never a fan of it. I I can say the same way, but it's supposed to be like it's supposed to be a uh, what is it? The one with the hands on the face and whatnot. It's basically that. It's basically it's like own like pseudo in a way. It's like its own pseudo version of that particular Pokemon in a way. It's and, and it's fine, and it was not. It was a novel idea, but what its abilities are in crap. It just. What emergency escape? I mean, yeah. yeah, but it's it's. I feel like if you have a good certain competitive way that you want to build that team to use that particular ability, then it's not all bad. But it's like you just gotta make sure you hit first, and you gotta make sure you do more damage than you you're gonna get dealt with. Yeah, they put the stabby stabby yeah. Pokemon in here. I mean, all in all, like I'm not. Too disappointed? I'm not either. There's plenty of them, but I am, I know for sure I am not going to be able to complete this deck because of okay. one, three, four, at least four plus five, and that's because I have no friends. That was me. What do you mean? Do you you're, you're all you you added me on the freaking switch, didn't you? Well, I don't know if online would online trading be affected by Nintendo Online. Oh, uh, which I don't one? Know, but Wait, which dude, game were you gonna be getting you anyway? I was gonna get Sword. Oh, then we were both getting Sword, so that's that's no be trading there, I guess. Yeah. Unless, yeah, unless, have... unless you are starting to trade with me, and I can trade with him. Well, I mean, obviously, everybody knows that I have. Like, once Pokemon Home gets here, then I can help you out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just like Excelagor and, uh, the other one. Excelgor uh, and... Excelir? Expelir or something like that? Search for yeah. the e. Excavalier. Excavalier. Yeah, Excavalier. Like, you need to trade those two mons just to get them both to evolve, and it's really... Ugh. And I'm glad that out. you know what I'm glad I have that in home, so I could just grab that no matter what. Wait, Pokemon Home's out? No, no. Uh, when, it's not out once, until, like, once, next year. Once, po yeah, once, once it comes out, then I could just yeah. transfer that okay. Pokemon over. Right. So I don't have yeah, to like yeah. trade it. Mm hmm So. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I just. But I'm still excited to find like Runer Grigas. I would have to say the most the, out of all the new gen ones, personally, I'm kind of interested to see uh, into use is the dog line and uh, Carbonite. There's a there's a True. there's an Audino Pokemon in this generation. Oh, it's supposed Not to be really. the uh, Galar version of it. Indeedy. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be the Galar version of Audino. It's supposed to be a goal. It's supposed to be it, but they're not gonna state that unless we get like a trailer saying something about Galar version of that. I just but it's supposed to be it. I it's kind of weird. Say, One Pokemon mm -hmm. is missing. Hmm. I haven't seen it on here. Oh wait, nope, there it is. One thing I do have to say though, all in all, Galarian Zigzagoon. I know, that's why I'm, I can't wait to get the belly drum <laughs> on that shit, and then extreme speed, oh my god, such a powerful mod. It, 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 I just like the direction they took, I'm a fan of classic rock, so that little homage is kinda nice. Um, they put Cherim in here, they put... Okay, Cherim's useless. Of course Cherim's useless. I mean, no one uses it. How is it useless? No one uses it. Oh. Of course they had to bring Magikarp and Gyarados. Magikarp is useless. 
Because mm, you have like a dead I'm Gyarados. Talking about the line. Mm -hmm. I don't know why uh, Zekeen and freaking uh, what you call it, Goldine. Goldine. I don't know why that's in here. That it's not really that yeah. good of a competitive scene in the first place. So very. But they don't have the toxic keychain, which is good. <laughs> True. <laughs> True, but there's a lot of poison type Pokemon here, so. No, I was. Just class. Talking, I may be able to use my Gen 14. Klefki, mm. I call it the toxic keychain because I made people so rage so much with it. Yeah, because there's a prankster ability, but you still have you still have um what you call it? Who has prankster on here? Um, what is that? Furball. Uh, cottony. Cottony. Yeah, cottony and Whimsicott. Whimsicott. But they uh, have n they didn't put Lilligant in the game. Yeah. Lilligant Peter Dance. Mm -hmm. They didn't put Lilligant oh. in this game. But okay, okay. You got Stabilite too. I forgot about Stabilite. I I can understand where he's coming from though. They didn't put Lilligan in, but they put Flinch God Togekiss. I know. <laughs> I know. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. But here's the thing. Thanks, Since they have these new, see, here's the thing is they do have these new items that kind of prevent the flinching. Yeah. So I mean, but it, but it, it sucks. If the new items. It all depends if the new items are one use only or continuous use. I'm pretty yeah. sure, like, is Vanellix in this game? Yes. But then there's the thing. Okay. Uh, here's another thing. It is. I have oh, wait, like I see it. more than one flinch Pokemon here in this game. Like I said, uh, Chinchino is in this game. So somebody's gonna make a team of all the edible Pokemon. Yeah, I guarantee it. If I competitive, I would probably use Garnivore. Um, is Gallade in here? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Vicavolt, Togekiss. I would probably put Haxorus as my dragon. Mm hmm. Maybe bring Tyranitar for the rock coverage. For the rock. Mm -hmm. And what? That's five? Yep. And then probably for Crabs and Giggles, Winsicott. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that there was no starter in your team up. I, because starters are, even though they're good. 99% of the time, mm -hmm. there's better options. <laughs> I, I just feel like if the starter that I'm about to pick, I'm hoping that there's some good moves that I could use from either the starter, just well, in case mm -hmm. of if anything. It's the group, if it's the groupie line, then it's more than likely going to land belly jump. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm hoping for. Because it's going to be a very bulky mod, and the fact that it's going to have a move like that. This is a very dragon-heavy game. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, a do it's, a, it's basically a doubles setup for this whole entire game. It's not, yeah. not going to be a singles type of okay. Pokemon. I don't, know, I don't know if it's really going to be a hot take or not, but if, I'm tied between Scorebunny and Sobble. I can see that. It's because of the Sawa line where the final evolution kind of looks like more of a spy. Yeah, uh, and me personally, don't ask me why, but ever since I was little, Going every time I play through games, I always choose the fire starter. So it's like, should oh. I break away? No. Did you break away? I mean, you kind of break or away with Greninja, didn't you? I broke. I think Greninja I was not my starter last time. Wait, Greninja wasn't your starter? Not when I originally played X and Y, no. Who did when you I choose? Originally put the fire one. 
Wow. Jeez. When I uh, and then and then when I played through it again, that's when I chose. Wait, the you ninja. is this X and Y or is this Sun and Moon? X and Y. X and Y. Oh. And then Fox Sun and Moon, not... I chose Linton. Or Sun, yeah, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I chose Linton. And then I got the other two starters from uh, Wonder Tree. Uh, and a gift. Uh, yeah. See, my thing is, it's more of lately, like my first Pokemon was Squirtle, so it was the first water type Pokemon. And ever since then, I either had choosing a Pokemon that's depending on the look, how it looks, or what will be the first gym leader that I gotta deal with. And they that did, was always me. Which gym leader do I have to deal with? Well, and I... nine times out of ten, it would always be water. But oh my lord, it would always be water. But for I want to say like a good six generations, I swapped between fire and water until I got to sun and moon, where I chose Decidueye. We're all gonna be we're all gonna be perfectly honest. Knowing us, we're gonna play through it once and then either A figure out a way to get all three starters or B transfer everything to the Pokemon home and just start the hell over again. Right. Because You know like, what? for me like here's the problem. When I get to the game, I'm sorry, but I had to cut you. It just uh when I'm gonna start the game, I'm not gonna start off playing the game regularly mm -hmm. I'm going for that shiny oh god I'm going for Lord. that shiny it's gonna take You're me going for hours but it's gonna I'm just gonna go for that shiny before I even start playing the game in general mm -hmm. uh, that's a now you guys can go ahead and talk that one out <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I mean, it's it, I mean, it's your ass cheeks that are at stake if you want to sit there up for that long. Well, here's the thing. Right, I right, actually got thing. time off to actually literally take all the time I need to really do it. So, did not take time off just to play this video game. Here's, I took the, the time thing. off to play this fucking video game. <laughs> that is John, you're my hero. <laughs> here's the thing though. We don't even know if any shinies are present. How long? Oh no, there are. There are. There are. They, How uh, long did it you was take off? proven that there were. Oh my god. So oh it just is gonna take the time <laughs> to do it. Oh my god. I tried doing that with Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and I just gave up after a solid hour. Yeah, that that's like, that's <laughs> hard. I'm, that's <laughs> hard. That's hard to deal with. Science. It takes way too long for that one. Well, I was trying to do it for the starter. I was like, you know what? This playthrough, I'm going to do a shiny starter. That's it. I'm right. not going to worry about any other one except for that Ultra Beast that's given to you. Oh my god. Wait, there's a shiny Ultra Beast that's given to you? Yeah, uh, that poison one. Yeah, the, 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 the but the thing is you have to like really reset for that multiple times just to get it like eh. that. Eh. Yeah, because you get it before you can get the shiny charm. I mean, now that I'm looking at the decks, like, bring back national decks is like, eh, okay, but you really want to, like, catch all 800 Pokemon again. Exactly. Well, do you want to catch thing, 800 Pokemon and make the game on balance? Why are you trying to make the game Fuck on no! balance? Fuck <laughs> no! Here's, here's the thing we don't know if Meltan's at the beginning. Or end of the deck. Yeah, Meltan's not even in this picture. That I said. know that's that was so, the other thing about my this. whole thing is is Meltan is that Generation Seven or is it Generation Eight now? We don't. Well, know. again, this is, this is another thing where they're explaining how Pokemon that, has done that. They've always done it. Here's the thing, because so, it was the whole situation with Mew. Mew was supposed to be in this game. They now, also did it with Thundercat. Therefore, is either they're gonna be like saying like, oh, this is an event Pokemon is in the game. This is the only way you're getting this Pokemon because it's an event Pokemon. Probably. 
You could go ahead and transfer the Pokemon over. Watch them do this. Watch them, like, leave Charizard in the game and then give us the other two starters as an event Pokemon. That wouldn't surprise me. Exactly. What? The only way they'll work this out with a lot of people who kind of be pissed off. Because there's, like, people out there that are like, I'm not buying this game. Well, okay, I mean, sucks for yeah, you. Yeah, there's a lot of people who said they weren't buying the game, but how many cells that they have? I'm pretty sure there's a oh lot of cells out there for this Bruh, game. Bruh, I walked into Target and somebody returned a Switch, uh, the Nintendo Sword and Shield Lite repackaged. What? Yeah, what? they did already. That's lame. And I'm like, and then, like, a Target employee was like, was like, um, was like, oh, I get off in 10 minutes and it has to be on the floor for 10 minutes. And I'm like, then fucking get it, dude. I'll be right back. <laughs> You're just like, I'll be right back. I'm not going to like crush those kids dreams because I'm like on a budget. Um, but I don't need like any other consoles in my room. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I'm not even like last Black Friday I worked for Target and I almost bought like Xbox One, the PS4. See, um, I think the only reason I I wasn't like and that the, the rule of them like being able to buy things on Black Friday as a Target employee is stupid. because you have to like wait until your break and then it has to be on the floor for ten minutes and I missed out on. The 10 inch Pikachu Funko Pop. Dang. And I was like, I totally followed the rules, but I'm like, eh, I, I'm, you know, besides, I actually, like, didn't like that job after a while. Alright, well, I got some bad news. I gotta get going. Gotta okay. go to work. Alright, friend, we will see you next Speaking time. Again. Yeah. More often, it just sucks with the sleep schedule. Oh god, you're like sleeping during the day. Yeah. And then when you're like functionally awake, nothing's open. Yep. Sucks, man, but if you need those two Pokemon, let us know. Oh yeah, definitely, but I have to, again, save up to get the games first. I just bought Dragon Quest XI. Well, no, you will get move. That's what we're saying. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm almost there to where I can use the Festival Plaza. Yeah. That I don't even horrendous. think you need the Festival Plaza. Y you need access to it to access the trading set. Oh. Trading setting. Boo. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Alrighty. Bye, friend. Bye. John, you still there?
<clears throat> okay. What the hell? Uh, so I'm back. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what was going on, but I'm back. Um, parents keeps no. Basically, my sister literally called me talking about some recording of a show that I don't want to deal with. And I'm like, I'm in the middle of a podcast. Chill. Okay. <clears throat> hey, friends. So, I don't know what happened to Kaelic. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if what happened to him. But... Uh, Roxas went to work. Okay. And chaotic. I'm not sure. Oh, that's Roxas. Yeah, it's, that's that's Roxas. Roxas. Okay. All right. Well, I think you know it. I mean, where do we leave off? Uh, I know something about you, the 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 customer who was returning in the the switch thing. The switch. Oh light. yeah. So I I'm guessing like a, a target employee is by that. Really? Right. I mean, I've never bought... Like, I used to buy things on my break because I knew I allowed to. Mm -hmm. Um. But, like, like with the Pikachu figure, I had to, like, let that go because there was only two of them and I tried to go back, like, the next day and yeah. buy it. <clears throat> so, but... Like, just, like... Whoever's doing it this year, like I have, I, I, I feel for you guys. Um, I decided not to do it this year because, you know, ugh, my back hurt after a while. And, you know, I'm just like, just it's, like. it's just, it's like, I don't want to work in retail for my life. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with working into because I still no. want to try it, but it's like it shouldn't be that hard and difficult to deal with. Um, mm. Maybe there's a, maybe a dealing with customers for. Oh yeah, us. I mean that's that's huge. a thing. That's a huge thing dealing with customers. Like I will say this, John. If you get like depending on which company you work for, if you get a customer from hell, mm. if you get a customer from hell. Like you can lose your job over that. True, I feel like that. I feel like that. Many and times a lot of retail, a lot of retail now. companies don't give you an opportunity to defend yourself. True. Like they just, they, they just don't. They don't. And so that's why I'm saying you might want to stay at the movie theater. You know, I mean, I might want to second. work at a different movie theater. Yeah. Right. But I don't want to work at my movie theater. God, and I don't think anybody about... should be working at my theater at all, honestly. We've already talked about, like, all the problems that go on at your movie theater. Yeah, and there's way too many. It's just way too oh many. Oh, my God, like, condoms in the movie theater. <laughs> I mean, see, here's the thing. When it comes to, like, shit like that... I mean, Have you I'm, found like, I'm not, year? dude. I'm surprised. You know what? I, I feel like my like radar for that stuff has kind of died down. I don't right. know why, but lately I have not been getting that at all. So I'm like, thank God that's that's good. You know, maybe mm -hmm. I'll I won't have to deal with people maybe having sex in the theater so that's fine you used to text me the pictures dude i swear man i swear and then <laughs> it's just like now somewhat lately i've been getting like whole like a whole situation at the drive-in that's oh, where God. people are having like car sex and i'm like dude it's the fucking drive-in drive you don't need to be doing that you, you work at a drive-in i work at a drive-in under the same company. Oh, okay. So, and the thing is, it's just like, I still got to deal with the fact that maybe I might see a cust customer doing something at the drive-in more likely oh than God. I would do at the theater. So, wow. it's just, 
It's like it's mm. it's like it's off my radar, but it seems like it sometimes will peek in once in a while. Right. It's like a once in a while, like disgusting. Yeah. <sighs> and then as far as like the market piler thing, I I only briefed over it like like brief like I only looked over it briefly. briefly. And so basically, what happened was is that he had like the market. Like the you know the Market Piler heist show that he was going to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently with that, in like, in order to, it, it's like you had to like it was an interactive show on YouTube, and basically the people that were playing along lost even their Google accounts, their YouTube accounts, and they've just been banned. Yeah. And so this is why this is this is even why I stepped away because but that was the whole emojis thing. It was just like don't like it was the spamming emojis. That was the whole start of it. It was spamming right. emojis and spamming Were emojis they the set it up. Kind? No, it, they were just spamming emojis and that was it. And that's stupid. and it was like that's so stupid. And Markiplier made a new video about that. And he's been trying to get in contact with YouTube about that. Like, it's not right, man. You can't just deal with that. You can't. Oh, just... trust me. I think you and like, I, like, first of all, we're like, we're, we're like really small channels. Yeah, I something even, like that I, would happen to us. Like, that just it already devastate. did. It already fucking did. I'm telling you. I mean, I'm glad I haven't gotten my fucking channel like removed yet, but still, just like well, you, that's like first my of whole all, life like with, there, right? And with my YouTube channel, I think I've shared why I just kind of stepped away from it because Google literally indexed my YouTube channel, which is basically anything, mm -hmm. and some of it was smut. And it was just something completely out of my control. It had nothing to do with me. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Like, yeah. like with social media nowadays, people are getting like taken out. Their their their, you know, their their accounts are being deleted. They're starting to like this whole like. It, it, first of all, the U.S. like politically is starting to turn into China. So. Socially, yeah, and like especially with like, and this is why I'm just like, okay, uh, people our age they want socialism, and I'm like, no, no, you don't, and because they don't, they don't even think deserve it affects that. that. Yeah, it doesn't even affect. They don't think it will affect that, and so like. The thing about it is that this is this just doesn't surprise me, and like I'm even you know kind of scared talking about my situation. Um, even though it's like it has nothing to do with me, it's out of my control, out of people's control. So it's really just is. out of Market Piler's control to fix this, and it really does suck. Yeah, and so like, I'll be honest. I don't know if it's still there anymore, but it's like, even your videos got indexed with utter crap. I mean, I mean, had well, like probably like a couple of strikes there and there, and that I gotta like delete because of freaking copyright fucking claims. No, it's not like even bullshit. that. It's where it's like, if you Google your channel mm -hmm. and like go into the search into the search into like, just into the search query yeah after a while you'll start to see that your videos are being posted on sites that it doesn't need to be there uh i don't know because i feel like it shouldn't be because usually is it's usually my channel name and it's only mm -hmm. like and if I search it up right now, it shows my YouTube channel 
and stuff that I did with other stuff like mm -hmm. or like what I'm linked to mm -hmm. saying like Pokemon Amino or Amino in general it'll have that link there or oh, I haven't been on Amino in forever it has my Teespring stuff my T my T public store stuff um, it'll have my twitch up there my Twitter. I can tell you I'm but gonna tell you privately. If you like go in my after, videos, I'm pretty sure it just searches after my this videos. After done, what I found on YouTube. I don't think what my I YouTube is on any other day. website. I'll tell you privately where I found it. Okay. I'll tell you privately. Um. <clears throat> but yeah, other than that, it just. I mean, if. If you do see my videos on different websites, like very like vulgar websites, it's probably not my fault. It's probably mm -mm. again, yeah, it's probably somewhere between it's out of your control. It's some it's some someone weird else algorithm. who is either someone it's, like grabbed it, grabbed those videos, and then just put them on other websites. Right. I mean, other than that, it probably should be giving me more like whatever but i i highly doubt it you know because mm -hmm. they're like most of those were like probably like old videos anyway and i don't really have yeah. anything showing the fact that that's my channel i probably have something in there but i highly doubt it mm -hmm. uh, i will I, I we'll talk about this when we're not recording yeah a little more um but still, you know, again, because uh, like, yeah, it's like out of our control, but it's like it, it, it still shocked me to find out what Google actually does with certain things. Oh, and then the, the fact of it is that Google already knows you personally, and that's another mm -hmm. problem that Google is Google is tracking everything you do, so. Yeah, and that's why I have all those settings turned off. Yeah, I mean, you gotta, like, gotta make sure everything is cleared. You gotta make sure, like, any, like, tracking cookies or whatever is gone. Because mm -hmm. they just they just know. Yeah. It, it seems like they keep it safe just to be like, oh, okay, we know what you want. We know what you want to see. This <laughs> and that. It's giving the whole Facebook thing a thing. Mm hmm Oh, remember when that was a thing? Facebook may know what you want to see and know what you want. Right. And I feel like, so it's like... But then it's like, well, I just like those things, so I should know what I want to see because I like those things. Therefore, I should have those things pop up in my search, you know, Right, sometimes I, like, it's like stuff that's not even like relevant to me like sometimes i've had to go and edit it because and there's those type of it's things it just gets where, ridiculous yeah yeah where it's like some things that you don't want to see because it shouldn't even pop up because that's not the thing that you actually like look at so right it's like if it was certain things that i don't look at then it shouldn't pop up if it's something that mm -hmm. i did look at and I know I'm going to keep looking at it, then it should be popping up. Right. So, I mean, it's just, it. we live in a different age towards, like, when we were growing up, computers and all of this stuff was in its infancy. And now it's, like, becoming, you know, there's privacy laws. You know, like, like libertarians really need to just overtake our government. <laughs> Because it's becoming too much of, like, a shit show. And, like, even I'm not happy about it. Yeah. And I've voiced that probably many times. So. Again. I mean. It is what it is. Yeah. There's nothing we could do about that. But I'm hoping mm -hmm. that everybody's channel does get back on mm -hmm. there, and now we can't, we can't like really like, uh, I guess you know, spam 
emojis anymore, so... You can't what... even use, like, certain emojis on Facebook in, like, a certain kind of manner anymore. It's one of those things, it's like... Yeah, it's like, people are censoring free speech now, and it's like... Yeah, and it's, it's 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 becoming ridiculous. It really is, and uh, hopefully Markiplier can get in contact with those YouTubers. I mean, with mm -hmm. the with the the company of YouTube and fix all that shit out. Because, yeah. like he was saying, like he's been working with YouTube and making his you know series, and it sucks that something like that happened while he was doing a Q and A about the whole entire thing about you know, mm -hmm. about his his show and whatnot so it's just like come on you know it's like mm -hmm. it wasn't the moderators that reported them and youtube's you know freaking system just says fuck that let's just put everything on mm -hmm. shut down so right it sucks and this is probably a reason why I'm probably not going to be well I'm going to still stream but it just like Twitch. if if anything I just want to be like to let everybody know just don't spam any emojis because mm -hmm. right. your channels will be taken down if you do that your whole Google account mm -hmm. will be taken down if you stream on there I mean if you would like you know uh, spam emoji onto the chat Mm -hmm. so just don't do it right because that's so another thing that one of those things. Said too. yeah so I mean kind of is what it is and you know even in doing this podcast like we haven't really said anything that would be considered terrible or come back to haunt us and, you know that's just the kind of cult that we have yeah and again it's knowing the fact that i'm not live streaming this now mm -hmm. and just pretty much just pre-recording it it's right. like i i don't want anybody like again like i said i don't want anybody spamming something in the chat if they do come in the mm -hmm. chat it's like i don't mm -hmm. want your chat you know your channel or your account getting into that point where other mini youtubers has been dealing with right now trying to get their mm -hmm. channels back right and so it's like I, I i don't know john like i i think like i i like for me like i did it for a limited time and like there's got to be a different way for you know different way for people to just have these kinds of jobs to where they don't have to worry about so much anymore and for me it, 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 this is where i'm just like like market like people like market piler he's he's 100 percent himself and you know like he he did this because he has a community that is you know, behind him, and it's and it's really sad that you know even market pilers getting hit with. And yeah. so I think in the next couple of years, probably not going to even see streaming anymore on YouTube. I think that's another thing. I think if he's not be able to do anything like stream anymore, he might mm -hmm. just be streaming on Twitch, and mm. that's where he might go to because of YouTube won't like answer mm. or do anything about this and that's how he was talking about how his first channel got all wonked and everything and this is why he started the mm -hmm. second channel and making it the channel as it is today mm -hmm. so if it comes down to it i'm pretty sure he might start trying to get all his uh viewers onto his twitch right and so I think eventually, like, I feel like it's going to go the way of or like E-Bomb's world. Mm. But it's going to be like a couple years out. I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah. And if I start streaming on Twitch, it's because that's that's the only way to do things now is stream mm -hmm. on Twitch. And I might just be streaming Call of Duty or Sword and Shield on Twitch. You know? Do it. I would do it. And this is another reason why I'm getting the Elgato in the first place because I want to give get good quality deck. game and it will make it much better to stream on those particular mm -hmm. areas. Yeah. And at least at least you can spam you know emojis on Twitch, yo. While I have yeah. to deal with some dumb <laughs> Oh, dumb I see people do it all the time. Yeah. Like live your best life. So, I mean, now it's, it makes it seem like spammers are not that bad when it, when it comes mm -hmm. down to it. I mean, yeah, there's some things that you shouldn't spam, but, mm -hmm. I mean, it's emojis. Come on. Chill. Like, come on, YouTube. Chill. <laughs> You're going to get issues. Well, with even back when emojis. we, like, even it's like a lot of things, like, YouTube has always had, like, zero chill when it comes to certain things well the, and another thing is it's a small company so we also mm -hmm. have to understand it's probably small staff not all the stuff could get to reading or doing stuff to make the you know make a greater uh excessive uh looking over certain things making sure mm -hmm. if that is bad or is it if it is good with certain uh what's what it would be the word for it mm -hmm. what's good for the community to see in what ways like the whole like okay there's an age restriction for a reason mm -hmm. would you like remove that because they already put it on age restriction <laughs> you know it's gonna yeah. be adult related stuff you have the age restriction mm -hmm. there but you have other people who are kids who are gonna be like, "Well, I'm not 18, but I did make my channel where it's not 18." You know, but that's I can't on actually go past that. You know, and it's like it's not, it's not there. It's not the like the channel's fault. It's mm -hmm. not. It's more like okay, where's the parent at? Why weren't the right. parent looking at what the child was doing and why is he watching said things? You can't blame mm -hmm. the person who made the video or whatnot. You have to yeah. blame the, the kid to actually go onto that particular website or mm -hmm. go to that channel to look at that content. And then not only that, you also have the fact that it is a problem with YouTube who has an automatic, uh, has an automatic system that just you know blindly doze over it you know mm -hmm. and it makes no sense i so. mean it's, it, it is what it is and i think the issues like it just it mm, i Bad think parenting yeah um those are your words yeah um i still feel I'm really like not that's gonna say strongly anything because yeah. it's like yeah obviously in this day and age you always want as a parent you always want to be like, you always want to give your kids freedom, but you want to, like, have that talk with them about, like, see, like here, stuff you're not supposed to see. Here's the thing. I would give them the talk first before saying, mm -hmm. okay, you could do whatever the, you know, F what you want. But, you know, you have to understand there's a certain amount of things that you could do. And there's a certain right. amount of things you <clears throat> cannot do. If I'm going to give you the talk, I'm going to give you the straight answer to that is, no, you cannot <laughs> do this. This is what you could do, but this is what you shouldn't be doing. You know, right. and there's a limit to what you're trying to do to justify your situation to better not get in trouble or get someone else in trouble for that. Right. So, so. Again, it's one of those things again. Mm -hmm. I still consider most of the parents bad parenting because of that. Mm -hmm. And I do judge, and I judge for a good amount of reasons of judging because, again, I work at a movie theater. I see when customers come in with their kids. I I see how they, you know, generally 
act all the time so it gives me a good perspective on like okay well apparently this parent didn't teach their kid to do this correctly apparently and then when I do see parents and I see how parents act I'm like okay what what's going on with their grandparents what what have they not teach you you know what's going on like it seems like it just gets lower and lower like the IQ level just keeps dropping for some reason like they haven't been teach manager or whatever the parent reason of it's just not going through their heads or something so I mean I'm just very woke to it and I just I see mm -hmm. it every single time so I mean uh, basically what it comes down to is like Sorry, I'm just, like, Blank preoccupied you. with something right now, and... <sighs> but yeah, it's, it is mm -hmm. what it is, and... It is what it is, I think. It's not really a... Eventually, it's gonna get fixed. Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. It's... It's humanly impossible <sighs> to fix something, something like this. And... Mm -hmm. Eventually, once it does fix itself, maybe we have smarter people at the long end of it all. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it won't be too late. But hopefully, we have smarter people by the end of it all. Right. Um. And so, I just I don't I don't know. Like, the culture of it all has just changed. Yeah, it has. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's never always for the good part of it. Sometimes it's always the bad. And hopefully it gets better in the long run. You know, it's 2019. It's about to be 2020. Surprisingly how fast it got, you know, it passed because we just started out 2019 mm -hmm. and now it's getting to the point where it's not going to be 2019 anymore it's going to be 2020 I'm going to be in my 30s don't don't you dare like remind me of what time it is like dude dude I get it I get it I get I'm it. not I'm not prepared for another decade of my life and uh, I mean like like, in, in regards to that, I always feel like, I always feel like time is running out and for yeah. me to do things because I'm getting to track it to where it's like, you're either in shape or you're not in shape. And if you're not in shape, you're you need to get in shape. And you need yeah, to you get need to get in shape. shape. You need to do things. And it's like, oh. Oh, gosh. it's it. It is what it is. So I think we and got everything to say here yeah. on the podcast. Mm -hmm. Um, I really don't know what to talk about for the next podcast. I guess. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I technically do. Because it's gonna be we about are Pokemon. About our, we, it's gonna Wolfsburg. be another Pokemon one, and it's it, gonna be our experience. It, it's, just, it's our experiences with Sword and Shield. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, that's pretty that, much that's it. That's the next one. That's pretty much it. It's yeah. gonna be our experience about Pokemon. So. So. But I will see you on the next time. Mm-hmm. Friends. And once we start, do we have, huh? Do we have a mat? Do we have a matchup or no? Uh, so far I haven't been doing matchups. I don't know okay. what matchup we should do, unless you have one. I would say, let's do a matchup between um, Gloria, Gloria, the Scottish trainer. 
And Misty, the original BOG. Okay, so we got a gym leader versus a the new generation eight trainer. Yeah. Well, uh, it's not that I'm. It, it's not that I'm going off of that basis. Whoever the hell has traveled with Ash or is. Oh. Like, it's going in that order of like, Poke eBay, I guess. But I. I wait. Hold up, because I don't think we never seen like the new girl. She's in not there. in the. Yeah, she's not in there. But I think it's like we should do. Or it's like we can do this. Let's do this instead we, of Misty. I feel like we do... don't know if she is in there. She could be in right. there, but so far we got a different trainer that's not mm -hmm. even in the game. That's gonna. So be let's in the do show. this. Let's do this instead of Misty. Let's replace Misty with Leaf or Green mm -hmm. versus Gloria. Okay. Because obviously we're the Squirtle Shader Squad, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly. Well, and crew. Crew, we're the crew. But yeah, Squirtle Shader Crew. Um, so, and Green is the original Blastoise Trainer. Mm -hmm. Putting that out there. And then we're just going to do Gloria. Or is that not even a fair fight? Well... Depending on the Pokemon that she chooses, I don't yeah. know. Um, it's because we don't know anything about her character for mm -hmm. what we. Because it, it's a brand new character, it's a brand new game, it's a brand new generation. Mm -hmm. So I think mean, a lot of people will probably prefer that. Oh, because it's Gen One, she has it in the bag to win regardless mm -hmm. because we don't know but then it's like right. well maybe you know maybe the eighth generation might win because you know you don't know about <laughs> the new pokemon she'll have the new score pokemon bunny. will probably be better she'll have score bunny <laughs> she'll probably have score bunny she'll probably have yeah. that because i want you to go and i want you to look up pokemon sky this trainer <laughs> Mm. And like nine times out of ten, she has a score bunny. <laughs> yeah, if anything in her memes, she always has a score bunny. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Her starter is score bunny. Oh, so, let's just make yeah, this much better. Let's just make this better. It's gonna be green with her uh, Squirtle versus Gloria with her uh, score bunny. Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, good. actually, there was something on the podcast that I haven't mentioned that I don't know if you want to get into that. Uh, what is it? And it also has to do with, uh, Nintendo. Oh, Jesus. So. Or, or, or let's be real. Let's other be than the feeling. Nintendo strikes on YouTube and the Twitter, <laughs> I... I think someone got in contact with uh, T Public, my like my shirt store, and uh -huh. got some copyrighted claims from Nintendo onto some of my oh. shirts. Did you? You only use Pokemon, right? I use the Pokemon, but I kind of like changed them. I kind of mm -hmm. like modified them a little bit, where it looks a okay. little bit different from the original like design mm -hmm. but since it was copyrighted from nintendo they didn't give me a good reason to appeal it and explain to them like well why is it getting removed if if it's not you know technically the original design and it's not like i'm mm -hmm. using the original design i did modify the design to look a little bit different Mm -hmm. So I should be able to use the design. You telling me I cannot use the design? Are you serious? Right. Like for me, like I would always avoid the copyright strike because I would always actually make the shading a little darker. See, here's the thing. I didn't get I didn't get a copyright strike. I just got copyrighted and they removed the picture mm -hmm. entirely. They removed that the, oh. my uh, my shirt entirely. Okay. So. The thing is, 
I had the blast the Blastoise Brothers shirt. Mm-hmm. That was removed. And mm. I also have Most the like Squirtle the- Shader Crew shirts where it's just a bunch of Squirtles all like in one middle area. And it was my right. original Squirtle Shader Crew shirt. And it will have like the little uh, writing of it saying Squirtle Shader Crew onto it. Mm-hmm. But these Squirtle Shaders, like the Squirtle had like, they had like, like a, a Blastoids like hoodie type on them. Uh-huh. So it's like, it is already to the point where it's like customly changed. It's like literally been modified, changed, and whatnot. It does not look like the original design. Mm-hmm. Nowhere in the Pokemon Company has this design as their actual shirt. So when I saw that got taken down, I was like, "That's that's devastating for me." I'm surprised. For get down. I, I, I'm surprised one shirt didn't get claimed. Oh no, that that's not that's not the end of it. There's other shirts that it was claimed too. <gasps> Tickle me slow, uh, bro. No, surprisingly, Tickle Me Slow Bro is still on there. I am oh shocked. Oh my god! I am shocked. The story behind. I that. I I know, right? Like I am still like, that shocked that that joke. was still there, and it's still up on there. If you guys want to, you know, you know, rock out with Tickle Me Slow Bro, definitely go get that shirt. But still, uh, uh, but still, uh, that one probably not. Probably, probably I mean, not because that that one's probably I, based off of a dick joke. It's 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 kind of, but it's not at the same time. It's literally the fact that you know, it was even you though it's an inside you're... joke. It's like yeah. it's not really that. You could take it as you're taking oh, like bit. one of the uh, like I think I said it because it just rhymed and it sounded funny. Yeah, it just it that's 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 the whole entire thing. It just it rhymed. It and that's funny. Ju- that's just the and that's how joke. the shirt that's how the shirt was made. So it's, it's not it's not meant to be dirty, but it's, it's like it can be taken. As- yeah, it could be taken that way, or it could be taken a different way. It just like you're move, just gonna tickle, us bro. <laughs> like yeah, or a move was called tickle, and it tickled the slow bro. Yeah. <laughs> is that, wait, that that is a thing. <laughs> that is a thing, and tickle is a move, <laughs> and the actual Pokemon lore. So, it, yes. it So, again, like, so it still sucks. This- it still sucks because, yeah. again, like I said, there was multiple shirts that were taken down from Nintendo oh my God. on my Teespring. And I, I mean, my T Public. T Public. So. We don't use we 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 use the fancy one. We- yeah, we we sometimes use Teespring, but that's a rare. Right, that's a, that's I, a rare. Like all the ones that I think I sold on there were like uh, Lucky Ducky, mm-hmm. and that had like a Psyduck. And then um, the I hope the fleas of a thousand camels get infest your bed sheets, and there was a picture of a camera up. Oh wow! <laughs> uh, that's the last kind of time... person I am. That's the, the last time I had on Teespring was uh, the gold and silver versus yeah. Wi-Fi battle, and I mm-hmm. took in and it like the, the it already ended, so I haven't I haven't reopened it up or re upload the the shirt again. Just to well, I don't it. even think I sold mine. It was just more like as a, like a inside like inside the commu- like our own little group ca- mm-hmm. kind of community thing, and. Like, I, I'm actually, like, shocked that you put, like, I was actually like, oh, man, that was be between me and him. The the Tickle Me Slow Bro. Yeah, but I, it was a great shirt, and, I mean, it was a great idea, and I was, I just, I fell in love with that, that, co- that concept shirt, and just yeah, because pin it it's, on the it's shirt. Yeah, it's kind of like a competitive shirt that you can yeah, wear, it but says, it's like Tickle the Slow Bro, Tickle yeah, the Slow Bro. A, because it was a whole competitive Wi-Fi battle that we had, and it, it, yeah. it was just like it was so perfect. So which I, I lost mean, like miserably. I'm still that. surprised no one has bought that shirt except for the fact uh, that I bought the shirt. Yeah. So 
I'm wearing that shirt proudly. So right. Tickle me slow, bro. Tickle me slow. People are gonna have to have like a context explanation of what that means. Yeah, and that's another thing. They will have to like watch the Wi-Fi battle that we had, or mm-hmm. read the description because I also put that in the description where we had a Wi-Fi battle and we're right. talking, and that's when it happened. And so, I think you changed like you changed the name of the video JD Zero versus Stormtrooper Blastoise. Did you not? Uh. I think some of them were changed. I don't think yeah, the original just, ones were. The original ones are still the same from your actual I would just go channel. ahead and like change them all because the original channel does not exist. True, the original channel does not exist. Just go ahead and change them and if it's But that's a lot of changing. <laughs> uh, we had more than just, one battle before. Well, so. you have to just change the title, that's it. Yeah. Um, but if it says like, un- like, just be like, this is this is with my friends. Undoubted like, tea. <sighs> I don't even know where that even came. From. I think like my original it's Xbox very name. Undoubted. <laughs> it, it just it, it for the time it actually just made no sense at all. I and mean, undoubtedly, yeah, it did not make any sense. But hey, no, it had. It- it was the name. And you it had still it. got right. And then you still have views and whatnot. And oh no! It oh, no. lasted for <laughs> they, a good decent amount of time before you yeah. end up like mm-hmm. deleting it. Yep. It died in a holy hellfire. I mean, it will be hard to get back up to where you're at now. I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, technically, it wouldn't be that hard because you would have been doing Pokemon Sword and Shield, but then you still have to get yourself like capture card setting for that. And mm-hmm. now will probably be the one time you would probably take you a while to get yourself back up. But hey, you still right. been making great Pokemon content uh, for your viewers. Me, I mean, the but then I you have, have to come up issues. with a new name unless you're gonna use yeah, this I name. Had, like, I had like sound issues and like, um, you know, obviously I've talked to you about other things Yeah. that happened with it. And I just decided that not something for me to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm just, because... Like, at my age, I really don't have an interest in being famous or, like, internet famous. Um, and that was, like, the biggest reason that I was, like, I'm not the type of person where I like the attention all on me. Like, like, I just don't. Like, people that know me and know me, like, in my little four-quarter circle, they know that I just don't like when attention's on me. I mean, I wouldn't mind and, a little bit of attention because it's like, right. that's why I've been like able to like have a couple of fans notice me on like mm-hmm. the streets. I'm like, oh, hey, I'm like, oh, hey, you know, and then they'll mention that they saw my videos and whatnot. And it's, right. It's and fine. Then at the same time, like, I mean, I think one particular other fan that I've lost touch with name was like his handle was tie dye goose. Mm-hmm. I lost contact with him. I lost contact with Shibby. Um, you know, and it's like, I just, like, for me, like, I couldn't have a YouTube channel for my own mental health. Mm-hmm. Because it has taken just a huge decline. Yeah. And, you know... I, I did, like, when I moved away from Utah, I actually ended up giving away some of the equipment that I had. Uh. Um, so, and it's just, it is what it is. Yeah. And I'll always be grateful for the, I'll always be grateful that, you know, I uh, at least, you know, saw it through, I saw an idea through, and I saw, but I just at the time 
And this is probably the number one reason that I didn't upload very often is because I just didn't have the time to dedicate to it. Yeah. And all the time there was like, like, first of all, any videos that I uploaded were one shot takes. True, you they did were not like two edited, one shot takes. they were just one shot takes. So if there was a mistake in there, I either left it in there or I either left it in there or I just restarted the entire video. And because as far as like editing, like I didn't have an editor. Um and there are people now that like I was like there are people now that were in that Wi-Fi battle series that aren't even on YouTube. Anymore. True. Um, like Mutton Chop Gamer, he's not on. He's not even on YouTube anymore. Um, and so that's just that's just how it is. And you know, I have ended up finding other things in life, and. You know, at, at the same time, like, when you're a YouTuber and you have to commentate on a game you enjoy, it takes the fun out of that enjoyment. Because now you're focused on the commentary, you're focused on making good content, and you're focused on something that isn't really true to who you are. Like, I, I didn't feel like I could be true to who I was mm -hmm. and who I am as a person on camera. And you know what? That's another reason why I've been making like a couple of COD videos where mm -hmm. I'll commentary because it's it's the editing part that makes it a little bit more fun to do. Mm -hmm. Because now I can just make like a short video with music in the background and then right. upload it and then it'll just play the, the the stuff that I pretty much took from this particular match into that particular mm -hmm. match and then smash it all together and do a good transitioning for it and then have music in the background and then mm -hmm. you're gonna get like a good couple of views from it and a couple of likes from it so mm -hmm. And I've been so, doing that. So, I mean, it's like, just just for the time and what it was, like, I was basically playing the games that I had. And on top of that, I just didn't have a budget for this idea either. And so, there's a lot, and I, and I commend you for sticking with it, but there's like a lot that goes into being a YouTuber. It really does. And yeah, and sometimes it's just like an emotional vampire thing and like I want to say like near the end of my channel you could totally tell that I just enjoy and that's why I felt like it just like it wasn't something that I could do it. and mm. you know it wasn't something that I could do anymore and because I was like okay and I just kind of started to realize that within the PokeTube community itself, there's a lot of backbiting, there's a lot of fighting, there's a lot of back and forth. There is a lot Even of back and now, forth. Mm -hmm, there's like a lot of back and forth, especially during this like short Sword and Shield season. Um, I've noticed a lot of like back and forth. Yeah. And I'm not the type of person that would insert myself into that kind of... In, into that kind of narrative. Mm -hmm. And because it's like, God forbid, I ever did make it, like, my number one enemy would probably be Alyssa Fott. Oh, come on. Yeah. Because, obviously, I feel like he would just take my channel and just it's garbage. Well, I mean, you're not... It, it shouldn't be I'm an issue with wrong. your channel. I mean, there shouldn't be that issue with your channel, though. I mean, you're, you're making, you know, quality content from your point of view. You're be making quality content. 
and you're not hacking or whatever like he has the well, main I mean, issue of doing well with. i think you and i have talked about like my use of like an action replay yeah but then it's like it's one of those things about the whole mm-hmm. concept of action replay it's like then it's, it's like a whole nother thing when it comes to like like world use and whatnot yes mm-hmm. this is a game that we played but at least we completed the game beforehand be, before we even used third party software out there. right and if that's the case that's the case right but if we're mm-hmm. making content on a channel that aren't on a particular website that's meant for making content regardless mm-hmm. of what it is you shouldn't hate on the person for making that content mm-hmm. you get hate on the person if they're cheating on a competitive scene or they're going right. to a com- you know a competing like a a tournament that that's a, like an official tournament and they're cheating on that official tournament yeah go ahead mm-hmm. speak your piece about it mm-hmm. but I mean like you're making content on a channel that's nothing about making content on the channel it may be right. fake it may be real it's content that's supported on a channel that's nothing about is just content and right a lot of people on here is fake and a lot of people is real on this particular channel so mm-hmm. you're gonna deal with that Villis if I should know this because it is what it is for this channel mm-hmm. or this whole platform in general so it should be that reason yeah um but i was gonna say that i even though i'm somewhat making it a thing on youtube as well i am at 454 subscribers now mm-hmm. uh again i am thankful for that for for people to subscribe to me i do talk to people through comments as well so i'm always like interactive with my Mm -hmm. fan base and again like i said yeah it's youtube is a struggle and sometimes it's generally not always a struggle because you have the opportunity to either upload or don't upload and if sometimes mm-hmm. you have that chances where it's like okay well youtube is a hobby and it is not a business it is a hobby the only time it will become to the point where it is a business to make content for people to put onto this channel is because i'm at a certain amount of subscribers to do so right um uh, but I always will make that more of a hobby than make it a business. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'll be making money on to the side, but it still will be considered. It's like pa- like for you, a it's hobby. like passive income. Yeah, yeah, it's more of that. It's right. like it helps me to get certain things that may help me if I didn't have enough money for food or whatnot, or I had to pay certain bills. I could pay those certain bills and then I'll have mm-hmm. money that was made off of videos that would have been like left over for me to buy food because I didn't buy food because I had to do bills and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And that's and that was another situation where it's like I rather have people either subscribe to me or go to my T Public store because at least buying something from T Public which is again I'm probably gonna get probably maybe like two dollars, just two dollars. Yeah. You know, you're you're helping me get two dollars, or if you're trying to like donate me a dollar on onto my live stream, it's still it's good enough. You know, I'm not gonna complain about it. You know, mm-hmm. you just donating one or two dollars is all I need. You know, to help me be able to get food to the next day. So yeah, and again, like I don't upload that much on YouTube anymore. And mm-hmm. when I do, I do. Yeah, but 
so far the only thing that's been making a lot more attraction to my channel was the unboxing video that I did for my PC. Mm-hmm. Because I'm pretty sure I'm at somewhere around like 15k of views on there. Nice. So. And that was your new PC or was that the one you bought like back in the day? It's the... Uh, it's not the... Because... I've been using my laptop for the most part when I, back in the day. Mm -hmm. I just used my laptop to make content off of. And then I finally got this PC. That was the one that I used for the unboxing video that I did for it. Mm -hmm. This was the new PC that I got. And ever since then, we've been using the PC to make content off of. So every content of from here to n probably like a few years back i've been pretty mm -hmm. much making content from this new pc yeah so you have like a a genuine pc like it's desktop a gaming PC. that you work with. yeah yeah to where it's like i've always done things from like a gaming pc i still need to add new stuff to the pc though that's for sure but oh, yeah. generally yeah so. Yeah. Oh, I see it. Yeah. It was the unboxing Skytech Gaming. PC. You've had that sucker for two years now. Yeah. Yeah, you've got 16,000 views on it. Oh, 16,000 views. Nice. 16K views. And. And I've been. I've been like. Again, like I said, I've been like pretty much active with talking with people who have been commenting on to that particular video as well mm -hmm. so and a lot of people have been getting those gaming pcs as well so mm -hmm. and again i like to interact with a lot of people who comment on those videos so it's it's and then that's probably the reason why i keep getting more subs because i mm -hmm. keep interacting so and i enjoy that I enjoy interacting right. with people. So, I mean, I may be antisocial, but it's like I like to still interact with most mm -hmm. people who like the same things as I do. So, um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That's I think that's all that we needed to talk about until next week for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, but thanks for you for coming out thanks for mm -hmm. roxas aka chaotic because he's been previously up started to live stream on his twitch lately mm -hmm. and definitely go ahead and check him out when you do guys do check him out um i still have this like channel linked onto my channel if you ever want to like go onto my channel this like he's in the support channel area i have him like listed up there um, but yeah, if you ever want to go ahead and check any of those out, well, except for Stormtrooper Blastoid, since he's no longer on YouTube, definitely mm -hmm. check nope. out Chaotic, if you ever do get to check out Chaotic. Um, but yeah, I think we could go ahead and end the stream here, I mean, end the podcast here, and again, check you guys next week. I'm assuming Saturday again, since I'm off on Saturday. <laughs> Playing the Bro, game. we are going to be like <laughs> discussing this thing in detail. Woo. Oh boy, oh boy indeed. Uh, again, uh, bye guys. Later.